In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can make money on the internet and how I've been able to live in Asia for the last 12 years and wake up without an alarm clock for the last 12 years, apart from when I started training jiu-jitsu because I had to wake up and get, get to class for 9 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to share with you how you can do this, how you can wake up whenever you want to, do whatever you want for years and years and years and have it all funded by your internet business because you have the skills to pay the bills for the rest of your life. You can make money on the internet and live wherever you want. See, I used to live in Thailand, right? And whenever I would talk to people that would travel to Thailand, they would always say the same thing to me. They'd always be like, Aaron, I really wish I could live in Thailand just like you are, but I got to go back to my job. And I'd always say, why? Like, why do you have to go back to your job? There's a, they always say, oh, I need to go back and make, make money. Of course, I need to make money. And I'd be like, yeah, but you can make money online. Oh, yeah, but, you know, that's not for me. I don't know how to do that. Well, why don't you learn how to do that? So it's that which I want to talk to you about today. And, and I want to talk about the whole story about it as well. So 13 years ago, I went to an event with my father. He took me to the event, which is blessings on blessings, because I'm so grateful for that he took me to this event, because it was an internet marketing conference, right? In 2009, I went to this internet marketing conference, and it just opened my eyes. Because before that, I was like, fuck, I wanna, I'm going to be a lawyer. I don't really like law. Actually, I hate it. I'm not good at it either. And I don't want to be sandwiched on the, the subway with someone's armpit in my face because there's not enough space on the train and I got to get to work or I got to get home, right? And I got to live that life Monday through Friday, 40 hours a week for 40 years of my life. And then I can enjoy my life at the end of that. That sounds like a scam to me. So I was like, fuck that. I'm, like, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. But that's what I thought I had to do in life to succeed. Because my dad's friend at the time, he was a lawyer and I was doing work experience with him for a total of two, well, a total of one month. So two, two week periods. And he's a great guy, right? Nothing bad to say about him. But just the, the, the work, like I, I didn't feel like it re resonated with my soul, right? And I was like, fuck, if I have to do this to be successful, to drive a Mercedes, that kind of sucks. And then, so when I went to this event in 2009, it opened my eyes to a whole new world. It's like, oh, I can actually make money and travel the world. I saw this guy on stage wearing T-shirts and the shorts, and he was showing pictures of him, him and his family traveling around the world. And he wasn't wearing a suit. Like, he was just an average, normal guy. And I was like, huh. So I can do that then. It's possible. Because once you see something outside of your comfort zone, outside of your uh, awareness, now you can't unsee it, right? It's like you can't unsee this video. You can't unlisten to what I'm saying now because now it's in your awareness. So now it's on you. So basically, long story short, I went to an events and events, many events, and I met people and I hustled my ass off to get opportunities, right? Just to be in the right rooms. And that's how I met one of my mentors. And then I went to Thailand and that's how that happened, right? And then I started doing, started learning about marketing. And so the reason I'm sharing this video is because I believe that learning how to do internet marketing is one of the most valuable skills in our life because there's millions and millions of people, probably yourself watching, or maybe you know someone who have golden handcuffs. They're making good money in their nine to five job, but they actually hate it even though they're making good money. I meet so many people like this. In fact, I met a guy the other day at jiu-jitsu and he's making 300K a year, but he fucking hates it. And it's like, it's crazy to me because, you know, he's, he's actually moving away from it now, which is great. But there's so many people like that who are making multiple six figures in jobs that they actually hate and it's sucking the soul out of them, but they're still doing it because they're literally a prisoner to the money, right? And it's like, most people are so fucking scared of losing income and being happier, which will help them get more income and be happier. That makes sense. So they're so scared of losing that initial drop, right? And let me speak to that. So this happened to me. So uh, six years ago, at the time recording this, I was making great money, right? I was in the affiliate marketing space, right? Which is what I'm going to talk to you about. And I was promoting products and making great money. Numbers on the screen, everything was great. But something in me was feeling stagnant, right? I was at the same level for many years 
and I wasn't growing, right? And it doesn't matter. I, me- I remember I heard this once from this one guy at this event I was at. He said, if you're making $30,000 a month and you've been making that for more than two years, it doesn't matter how okay that is. Like, stuck is stuck, no matter what level. Like, if you're stuck at a level, it doesn't matter what level you're stuck at because stuck is stuck and everyone loves progress. Progress equals happiness. So you could be making 30 grand a month for two, two years, but you're stuck and you don't know how to break through that. And that sucks, even though you're making 30 grand a month. And when he said that to me, I was like, yeah, that's bullshit. But I wasn't at 30 grand a month then. And then I started making that and I was like, oh shit, he's right. <laughs> he's right. You know, it's just like the whole Jim Carrey thing. It's like, I wish everyone can get what they think they want would make them happy just to, for them to realize that once they get it, it's not going to make them happy and fulfilled. And that's so true. But you actually have to experience it to know it. And that's the thing. So, um, yeah, so... I always go off for tangents. So basically, oh yeah, speaking to the, the decrease in income, brought myself back. So when I stopped doing that affiliate marketing stuff, right, and went into the health space, my income basically went to zero, right? But the, the difference between me and a lot of people who have the golden handcuffs is they're, they're not willing to go to zero, right? Which is why they still stay in that job, which is why when I went to Thailand and I met all these tourists, who had great, great, great jobs in their home country, they would... Sorry, let me see if this is still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Um, they would always tell me... Oh, well, I have to go back to my job because I, I make good money there. I don't like the job, but, you know, it pays my bills, so I just got to go there. It's like, you're, you're missing the point of life. Like, you're literally missing the point. The point of life is not to work at a job you hate just so you can make money. That's literally not the point of life, right? So, <laughs> it's just crazy to me how I even have to say these words. It's like, jeez, man. That's not the point of life. The point in life is to enjoy the passage of time, right? That's that's the point of life. And I'm not saying that I'm a saint. Like I've had my bouts of depression. Like I've suffered a lot. And the suffering is just all created in the mind, right? But let me speak to a decrease in the income. So I had to be willing to take a massive pay cut to increase my happiness, which increases money over time because... Wherever energy goes, results show, right? So people could see that, oh, Aaron's shifted into health. Aaron's now the health guy, and he seems to be really happy doing that, and he seems to be really consistent with it. Oh, I'm going to take this seriously now. And so that started happening, and people started taking me more serious. People that I looked up to before, who I would never really get their attention, started giving me attention because they started seeing my consistency and started respecting me as a result of seeing my consistency, thus taking me more serious and then obviously end, ending up giving me money. So it's like that all worked out. Now, I'm not making as much as I was back then with the health, but it was a good start because it was like, wow, I can actually increase my fulfillment and happiness and enjoy what I'm doing f- and make money. It's like those are the holy grail, right? Most people, they only get the achievement right. That's what Tony Robbins said. You've got two things in life, the science of achievement. Most people, if they're relatively smart, they get that right, right? You, you start making lots of money, right? But the, and you start achieving everything you want to achieve, all the accolades in your career. But then the, the fulfillment piece, most people don't achieve that, which is why a lot, there's so many r- miserable rich people in the world because, I mean, I've seen so many, I've met so many people that have lots of money, but they just seem so miserable and they don't actually do anything in their life. And it's like, fuck, man. Like, if I had, like, 100 million, like... Dude, like, my life would be even way more better than it is now. You know? Because I, I know what to do with it. But they're just, like, bored. They're literally bored. They're unfulfilled. And because they don't have anything that gives them juice in life, right? So, like, they don't have any hobbies. They don't have great friends around them who are, you know, meeting uh, in alignment with their values, stuff like this. So the, the reason I'm sharing this is because you have to be willing to take a pay cut, Right? at some point otherwise it's always going to just be a dream and also the reason why i found that people don't take a pay cut and they stay with the golden handcuffs is because they're so definitely afraid of the social repercussions of their decision so for example let's say you're making 300 grand a year at your job right and you decide to start an internet marketing program and you quit your job Let's say you start making money with this program that you started, right? And you're not making much. You're making like $1,000 a month. And 
you're like, all right, this is enough. Or you're making two, let's say you're making three grand a month and that's enough to cover your living costs, nothing more. And then you quit your job because you're like, all right, I'm going to go all in on this thing. All your friends are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, what are you doing? You're making 300 grand a year and you're, you're leaving this big, big job to make 36 grand a year. Like, what are you doing? And that's how most people will talk because most people speak from their own reality. So all those people giving you advice, that's their reality. So of course they're going to say that, right? Because that's what they believe. But it depends on who you listen to. And who, if you're taking on other people's limitations, this is what I've learned in my own life. Like, it's like Jay-Z said, people want to tell you you can't do something because they can't do it, right? So it's like, my uncle told me I never said a million records. I sold a million records like a million times, right? That's his lyric that he has in his song. Like his uncle told him, you can't sell a million records, but that's coming from his uncle. How does his uncle know? His uncle hasn't sold a million records. So of course, his uncle has that limitation. So he's putting it onto Jay-Z. But Jay-Z is like, no, nah, I'm not going to accept that. That's, that's you, because you can't do it. You're trying to tell me I can't do it. Nah, I'm not taking that. So you have to understand and be aware of accepting people's limitations as your own. And that's something that I've done in my own life and it's actually set me back so much. But now it's like the awareness is back. So why am I sharing all this stuff? So I'm, I'm basically sharing this stuff because ultimately it's about taking the leap, man. Like I did 16 bungee jumps in, well, 15 bungee jumps in six days and then I just recently did one here in Bali again. And it's like, you have to take the leap. You have to take a leap of faith. So what do I have for you? What's the point of this video? Um, let me see how long it's been going. Okay, it's been going for a while. <laughs> if you're still watching, the point of this video is to share with you the opportunity that can help you get out of your current situation. And maybe live in Bali, for example. Live that location free, freedom lifestyle that you've always wanted and be free of the golden handcuffs because that is the worst, one of the worst curses, right? Like, I would rather make less and have a free schedule than make more and be stuck in a job I hate. Because the reason why I say that is because of the how, how it affects your soul and your mindset, right? So being in a soul-sucking job is going to make you feel negative and drain your confidence and your, your zest for life even if you're making great money. Like, and then you're going to be a slave to money. And that's the worst thing. It's like, you're literally... A, well, I try. Actually, yeah. It's like, people are just slaves to money. And it's like, I'd rather not be a slave to money and have my autonomy so I can figure out and have the time, freedom, so I can figure out how to make money in the way that I want to make it. Right? And first of all, it's like figuring out what you want, right? So let's say you want to travel the world and you just, or maybe you just want to live in Bali, for example, or live in Thailand or Mexico or Colombia, wherever you want to live, Portugal, Spain, wherever you want to live in the world, and you just want to live there. That's it. Right now, you're not living there. You're living somewhere else in a place that you don't like because you're working a job that you don't like, but you're making great money. So you have, you actually have the money to go and live somewhere that you want to live in. But the problem is, maybe you're just either you're not aware of the opportunity that can help you make money consistently online or you're scared of what your friends and family and neighbors will think if you make this change and change your life. But at the end of the day, you can't pay your bills with their opinions, right? And so who gives a fuck? It's your life. At the end of the day, I just watched a video this morning about uh, 100-year-olds. I was typing in old people regrets on YouTube and I just wanted to see what old people regret when they're like 100 years old. And most people regret not taking risks when they, were, when they were younger. And this is something that I'm acutely aware of now because I've realized, wow, the last five years, five years ago, I never really planned out where I'd be today. And so I kind of like have drifted into today and five years have gone by and I've not really done much. And that's my own fault because I haven't been focused on the long-term horizons and you know, minimizing regrets. And so... The reason I'm sharing this video is to let you know that, hey, life is ticking and how much longer do you want to be in these golden handcuffs for? That's your decision. That's not my decision, right? I'm just sharing from my perspective how my life has changed because I decided to, to break free of that, right? 12 years ago, I was on welfare and I decided not to stay on. I decided to go on welfare because I knew that in that moment, if I got a corporate job or an, a, a full-time job, I would have lost my hunger to be an entrepreneur. 
And that's another thing. There's a, one of my favorite books is called How to Get Rich by Felix Dennis. And he said that the paycheck, a steady paycheck can numb your desire to get rich because it's just comfort. You're receiving comfort, security, and you get trained to receive that over and over again. And so it becomes, the more you receive that paycheck, the, the more scared you are of not receiving the paycheck. Does that make sense? So that's what I was acutely aware of when I, when I was, what, 21, 20 years old? And so I thought to myself, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to purposely go on welfare, knowing full well that I'm not going to be on welfare for long and something's going to happen. I didn't know what. And I'm going to get out of the situation. And when I do, I'm going to share the story and it's going to inspire people. So I've always been that guy that's been taking the risk, right? And it's paid off because I'm here now in the studio in Bali and making this video, right? Talking about the results that I've achieved in the last 12 years, which most of which is the fact that I've been in control of my time for the last 12 years. And money, the greatest dividend that money provides is time freedom, right? And that's from the book, The Psychology of Money. So that is the most important thing, is the time freedom to do whatever you want with your time. If you've got golden handcuffs, you've got to go to work, you're missing out time with your family, time with your kids, time with your friends, because more money and more time equals better relationships, better life, more fulfillment. So you have to understand this. And so the reason I'm making this video is, is, is to share with you an opportunity in the link below that can help you go ahead and make money on the internet and create a sustainable income and actually a huge income if you want it to be, right? Where you can actually live wherever you want and make money online and not have to be the face like what I'm doing right now. You don't have to speak to the camera. You don't even have to type anything really. Like you just need to follow the system, three simple steps, Basically, you're running ads to affiliate programs, right? So you're selling other people's products and getting paid for it. And that is called affiliate marketing. So essentially, you're going to become an affiliate marketer selling other people's products and you're going to get paid for it. And you can make lots and lots of money doing that. Multiple five figures, even multiple six figures a month if you wanted to go that far, okay? And the way I know this works is because my close friends are the owners of this product and also... My client, one of my clients, is a, is a customer of their product. Like he was living in India and he wasn't making much money and he found their product, he bought it, started implementing what they were saying, which most people don't do, but he was an action taker because he needed money. And so he used whatever money he had to invest in the program and then also invest in you know, buying the advertising and then started making, what was it? He was making five grand a day and then he paid me five grand right so it's like that's how i know it works firsthand like the guy we spoke we spoke recently because he just lost uh 20 sorry he 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 lost weight and he gained muscle right so i just posted his uh testimonial on my youtube you can check it out um and he gained like was it 10 pounds of muscle in five months using my methods that i teach and he, we were talking about it and he was talking about how you know when you get when you get money you want to improve your health but anyway i digress so the reason I'm sharing this video is because I wanted to share that opportunity with you that you can click the link in this description and you can go and check it out because this is literally going to set you up where you can have the location of freedom and buy all the shit you want and travel where you want and meet cool people, meet all the people that you see on, the, on YouTube. You can go and meet these people in real life because you have the means to do that and enhance your life and just have more fulfillment and more fun because that's what life's about, right? So I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to check it out, go ahead and click the link below this video. You can go and check out what we have for you and I'll talk to you soon. And this is an example of affiliate marketing because I'm promoting the product and I'm going to get paid for it when you buy it. So this is what I'm talking about. But you don't have to do what I'm doing so you can do it the way they're teaching you, which is behind the scenes. And if you love being behind the scenes, then that's perfect. Because what I'm doing takes a skill, right? Like I actually like talking to the camera and it's something that I've wanted to get good at. So you don't have to do what I'm doing to make money. So that's the thing I want to make clear. You can be the introvert behind the scenes, just making money and no one knows who you are. That's perfectly fine. And that's exactly what we're teaching in the course. All right, so go get access below and I'll talk to you in the next video. Ciao. Like and subscribe. See you soon. <laughs>